Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to Skyblock 116. I hope you guys are having a good day. In today's episode, I am heading back up to talk to my villagers because I want to get myself a couple more extra pieces of armor for the road ahead. We have quite the task ahead of us today. I've decided that I'm feeling a little bit of that pinch of needing to feel like I'm at end game again. I kind of want to be able to travel more easily. I kind of want to move inventory around more easily. And for that, we potentially need shulker boxes and elytra. So I think... What I'm planning on doing, just to ease up our Skyblock experience a little bit and open more of the world up for exploration, is I think I'm going to head to the end and fight the dragon in today's episode, which in Skyblock, in this map at least, is a little bit easier than you might think. The end portal is actually in the Nether Fortress, so what I'm going to do is head up towards my villager trading hall here, grab myself a couple of additional trades which will hopefully help me boost the power of my armor here, especially those feather falling boots, they're going to be definitely one of the most priority things that I need to get here. And then, hello, you're, <laughs> you're just going to be stuck in the water elevator for a bit. Uh, I think we're going to head over to the Nether Fortress and see what we can do about getting this dragon gone. Now, that's going to be a little bit of a pricey trade, so I think I'll probably have to get some emeralds, but that's fine. I got myself a little bit of iron that I can trade with the weaponsmith here, and... Once we've got a couple of trades under our belts for the day, we should be good to go. And the stonemason did end up falling down the elevator in the end, but thankfully we can use some of my slightly more lo-fi villager moving techniques here and just try and open his GUI a couple of times until he's in proximity of the launcher. Yes, there we go. And now he's back out onto this floor like nothing ever happened. That wasn't too bad. I can get in a couple more trades with the weaponsmith and that has got us the last 20 emeralds we need for the armorer up here. If I go to him and grab myself another feather falling two boots, that's going to be two feather falling to combine with this feather falling three that I already combined. And then we will have feather falling four and I can feel a little bit easier about fighting the dragon and it knocking me up into the air. I've also got this guy in the corner who will sell me protection one books for seven emeralds. So I can combine those for a protection two and combine the protection two into protection three and so forth until I have some slightly better protection in chance. I am looking at protection two on the leggings already and projectile two on the helmet, which is fair enough. I'd like a little bit on the chest plate and the boots just to make sure we're gonna be okay. And then maybe a little dash of unbreaking and mending on the others just to make sure these are going to survive the long haul. But I think for today, we should be okay with what we've got. One last thing we can do about the dragon's troublesome habits of knocking you up into the air is to brew up some slow falling potions, thanks to the fact that I acquired some phantom membrane. And I do have one blaze powder left over in my storage, so I'm just going to go and grab that real fast, and then we should hopefully be able to cook up some slow falling potions. And that's going to make sure that the dragon isn't going to be able to knock us into the air for lethal damage. I can bring a bucket of water with me, but I'm never entirely confident that I'll be able to MLG it and land in the water. So I will do my best to make sure that we are fully prepared for this dragon fight. And hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing will really go wrong. There we go, blaze powder going in like so. And oh, I guess we need some nether wart as well, don't we? Luckily, I'm growing that around the corner, so that should be no problem. One nether wart going in, brewing up, and then we'll trade with the cleric to get ourselves a little bit of redstone so we can prolong the effect. And and from there, I think we should be good to go. Now that these chaps are getting their trades refreshed for the day, let's grab a few more emeralds and grab a few more protection books for it. All right, a few trades later and I'm getting all geared up to go. We're going to have some jacket potatoes to eat. I could also cook up some of this. Actually, I might cook the steak. I might just put the steak on to cook now. That way we can have a little bit of nice high saturation food for the fight. And I've got myself a bunch of books. We have a spare protection one that I'm going to leave in here. But we've got a protection three, a protection two, and a protection four to add to my gear, including maybe even a mending book here and there as well. But I think I might add the mending books once it's guaranteed that we've come back from the dragon fight, because I honestly doubt that we're going to lose all of the uh, all of the durability on any of these at any point in the dragon fight. So for the boots, I think that's where we're going to put our protection 
three. I think we'll put that on there. That way, Feather Falling for Protection 3 sounds like it's going to do us all right, doesn't it? Uh, I think the Protection 2 goes on the leggings, yes, because then we can add that up to get Protection 3. And I'm really hoping that I have enough of the uh, enough levels left to do this one. Oh no, it's gonna be 11 levels. Okay, well I'll just quickly run and get some XP from one of the villagers again, because I, I, I actually find villagers are a really good source of XP at this point in the game, especially when I only need 11 levels. There we go, I bought and disenchanted a few diamond swords so we can keep those in reserve for hopefully when we get an enchanting table and we can get some maybe backups for this sword here. But I'm definitely taking this sword into the battle. It's gonna be really useful to have a sharpness five sword against the dragon. We can start to put away some of this other stuff and now we should have enough levels to combine the chest plate and this book for protection four. Now I have a feeling that these will all hopefully add up to the maximum amount of protection we can get and I'm not too worried about projectile protection on the helmet. The main thing we're going to need to worry about is making sure that we dodge all of those endermen in the end and that's not going to be too difficult for me hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's pop the eggs in there and a good thing that I've been putting together that mob farm over there in the desert because that has been a much better source of string than this mob farm down here was. And in fact, I think it's probably going to be the case that I will take down this mob farm because realistically that has served its purpose at this point and the multi-platform mob farm over there is going to perform a lot better plus it gives us sand as well. But we've been getting so much string from the spiders because they can't climb up the sides of the farm anymore. They really have nowhere else to go. And for that, I'm going to get myself... Where's all the bamboo gone? There it is. I'm going to get myself some more scaffolding. I think scaffolding is going to be really useful for getting up to the tops of those pillars in the end and breaking the last crystals. And plus, if we have slow falling and water buckets, we should make it back down no problem. Now, I'm going to leave behind a couple of the things that I know I won't need, like the axe and the shovel. Those can stay in there. And as for this bow... I might try and upgrade it actually because we have an infinity bow in here and I could really use infinity going into this fight. Plus that gets us power four and punch one on this already unbreaking bow. How many levels do I need for this? 13 that way or 19 that way. Okay, we'll go for 13 and I think for this one we'll take a quick trip to the zombie pigman farm. <laughs> Man, you really notice the difference in this farm when you're not using Sweeping Edge, because I'm using Sharpness 5, but without Sweeping Edge, the sweep attack really doesn't do as much damage. So yeah, that was actually a little bit slower than normal, but in the meantime, I think we've got enough levels now that we can combine those two bows, and we can chuck away anything else that is precious to us right now, and that will be it. We'll be ready to take on the dragon, ready to start the next phase of our Skyblock adventure, and I'm a little bit worried at this point that the piglin up here is going to attack me because the ones down there are aggro. I'm not certain if it's going to pass the aggro on at that distance, but you cannot be too careful. So I am going to be a little bit more cautious as I climb these vines. Looks like my friend up here may have despawned. I'm fairly certain he ended up spawning on the overworld side of the portal at one point and went back through to the nether, but I think we're fine. Okay, I can breathe a sigh of relief and now we can finally combine these bows and with no levels left to lose, it's time to take on the dragon. Okay, here we go, folks, heading out through the nether to take on the dragon. I've got the replay mod running so we can get some nice cinematic shots of this fight, and we're taking our turn here to the nether fortress, where the portal awaits us. You may remember from the previous Skyblock series, if you watched that, that the nether portal, or the end portal, sorry, is actually on top of the nether fortress here. It is on the roof, which is kind of a wild place to put it, but I think what they wanted to do was make sure it was nice and easy to get to the end nice and early and it kind of makes this fortress a very unique structure. The portal is already lit. You don't need to worry about Eyes of Ender or any of that stuff. We can just jump right in and fight the dragon as with the skeletons apparently rattle below us. Oh man, I always get ever so slightly tense before a solo dragon fight, but it's time to do it. Let's dive in and see what awaits us. Okay, right, here we are. We're on a platform outside of the boundary of 
the end island, so I'm going to have to be very careful about how I approach this. Okay, we're in, and I can already see the silhouette of the dragon circling in the sky. There we go. First arrow fired, and it hits a crystal. We are off to a great start, and I am immediately worried about where the dragon is because it is firing fireballs down on me. Now, this is the same end island I think you'll find in any preset of this Skyblock world. I'm fairly certain it's the same world seed for everybody, so you may even have done this dragon fight yourself if you've downloaded the map I'm using. If you did, hope it went well for you, because this really does feel nerve-wracking, but we are good on crystals so far. We've got the majority of them done. The caged crystals aren't going to give us too much of a problem if I can use the scaffolding to my advantage, and if I end up drinking one of these slow-falling potions, we might even be able to use it to counteract the dragon's breath a little bit later as well. It looks like we overshot that one, so let's... There we go. Triangulate that aim a little bit. Looks like that one's a little short as well. And hopefully I don't end up hitting any of the Endermen. I'm counting on my own skills at avoiding looking at the Enderman because I just realized that I have not brought my shield with me, which is a little bit of an oversight. I think I may have left it in a chest in the overworld, so we are going to have to bob and weave around to make sure that we don't accidentally look at any of the Endermen here. I occasionally just do that because I'm checking around to see where the dragon is and one of them wanders through my field of vision. I can't tell if I've taken down that crystal or not, but maybe we can get a better vantage point for it if we end up going towards one of these. That pillar is basically off the edge of the island. That is a really bad position for it to be in and I think we'll have to do our best to scaffold over to that if we can. In fact, I wonder if maybe I can get a shot on it from below, because I think it is possible to shoot up through the corner of those crystal cages sometimes, and it seems like a one in a million shot, but I think if the dragon gets out of the freaking way, we might be able to hit that one. Just got to make sure it's a straight shot up through those bars. Yes, that was amazing. We managed it. Okay, well, that saves me the trouble of going after that crystal. And I think I will try my best to scaffold up towards this one. And scaffolding can be waterlogged, so we can place a water source down here if we want to. And maybe that will help us out. I think maybe I'll end up doing it behind the tower. I just don't want to end up getting knocked off the island. And I also really don't want to aggro the Enderman. So you know what? I think we're just going to place some scaffolding here and hope for the best. That is the maximum scaffolding we can place. And I'm hoping the dragon doesn't come by in the meantime. But now we can crouch just below that crystal and give it the tap from the corner. And that's perfect. That's gone super well. Okay. Now there's only a couple of crystals left. They are on the tallest towers over there. And the dragon is down here on the portal. And hopefully I should be able to make a nice clean shot on that one at the top of the tower before the dragon starts to move. And there we go. Okay. Knocked up into the air and managed to make it down with the water bucket. Fantastic. Now, I'm not making that mistake twice. I'm fairly certain on my first Skyblock run, or maybe on a recent dragon fight I recorded, I ended up putting down the water bucket too early, and then there was a glitch, and the water source duplicated, and I didn't have a water bucket later. I can't remember if that was the Skyblock series or not, but it definitely happened to me recently, and somehow I didn't notice until it was too late, and the water bucket could never have saved me. Yes, there we go. We got that crystal down. Are there any left or is that it for the dragon? I have a feeling we maybe have one more crystal left. Let's take a look and see if it regenerates from any of the other towers. But if it doesn't, we are in phase two of the fight and it's time to start laying the sword down on the dragon.
And typically, whoa, okay, nearly looked at that Enderman there. Typically, the dragon starts to circle inside the pillars once all the crystals have been destroyed, and it's still kind of staying on the outside, it looks like, even though it's coming down to rest. Yeah, okay, it's on top of that giant tower up there. All right, well, at least now I know where that is. I'm going to try and get to a slightly higher altitude and see if I can snipe the tower from there. At least if I stay away from the edge of the island, I have less of a chance of getting attacked by the dragon and getting yeeted off into the void. Oh gosh, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that scared me for a second, but it turns out that was just the dragon harassing the Enderman, not me. That's good news. And risky though it is, I might try and get to a slightly higher vantage point to see if I can get a look at that crystal. The dragon is circling around me right now and I don't really feel like going up this tower right this second. Okay, all right, calm down a little bit there. There we go. And yeah, maybe I'll see if I can get a couple more pot shots on it from down here. But I think that crystal is still active. The dragon doesn't seem to be moving in towards the central portal again quite yet. I'm going to take a slow falling potion just in case because it looks like the dragon is headed this way but thankfully it is coming to rest on that portal and from here I should have a slightly better angle on this crystal if the crystal is even still there. I really can't tell at this point and yep looks like I'm going to have to make a daring escape <laughs> and yeah I honestly can't tell if the crystal is still there or not. It's oh man this feels a little bit weird I've got moon gravity going on right now and I don't see it healing from the tower, so I think we are actually in phase two of the fight and somehow I've missed that crystal not being down. Okay, I'm going to circle around and try and attack the dragon's feet because I do not want to be near the head. The head is going to do extra damage to me and hopefully we can get a few shots in on the legs around here at the ankles is usually the shot that I like to hit. And yeah, even though you get a little bit more damage attacking the dragon's head, it is much safer to attack the back here. So I'm going to do my best and we get crits as we fall with the slow falling potion. So that's extra good. Looks like we're close to taking off about half of the dragon's health already. Great stuff. I think we are, yeah, maybe like two fifths of the way there. That's looking great. We just have to wait for the dragon to come back down to the portal and we're in business. It feels good. <laughs> feels good to be fighting the dragon again. Let's try and land a couple of shots while it's in the air. And it's just keeping out of range and I'm really having to lead the shot a little bit here and it's circling back around. Looks like we are due for another visit to the portal in just a second. It's kind of covered the entire thing with uh, Dragon's Breath right now though, so getting a couple of sword swings in is going to be difficult. Yep, looks like it is on the approach now, so I will do my best to come in and attack the legs one more time. All right, now is our chance. Seize the moment and get a few more sword swings in with Sharpness 5. <laughs> Looks like we are taking the dragon's health down to about half. That is not looking too shabby so far. All the upgrades to the armor feel good. They feel like a little bit of insurance just in case something does go wrong at this stage in the fight. But nope, it looks like we are doing pretty well. We're even getting some extra ender pearls as the dragon is farming endermen for us in the meantime. All right, we're fairly close now, so I can get in a couple of slightly easier shots with the bow. It's certainly dodging me around those towers, though. And as it swoops overhead, let's try and land a couple more shots. Perfect. Hitting one, missing a couple more, but it's fine. We can take our time at this stage. The dragon is on the ropes.
Yeah, your fireballs don't scare me anymore. <laughs> All right, one more hit in, and hopefully it's going to start sweeping back down towards the portal so we can deliver the final blow. But yes, this has been a pretty textbook fight so far. <laughs> Aside from all of that messing around with the crystal that I couldn't see if it was there or not, I think this has been a pretty decent fight, all things considered. The one thing I always feel about this fight though is it's not over till it's over and as the dragon swoops down to the portal it's going to get invulnerability to arrows but in the meantime I should be able to get that final shot in and the dragon is dealt with. Oh boy, I always love taking those screenshots. I always love taking the screenshot that says the dragon is done with and for the first time we have freed the end. I don't think we even got the advancement that time around, did we? I can't tell if it's part of this. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, it is part of the uh, the advancements. Awesome stuff. And look at that. We're back to a full stack of levels. <laughs> Incredible. Maybe a little bit extra lurking around here and there. But there it is, folks. Our first dragon fight of Skyblock 116. All done and dusted. With only one slow falling potion, no enderman aggro, and a pretty easy dragon fight all things considered we prepared well but i think we are good to go and now as my trophy i'm going to claim the dragon egg easy way to get the dragon egg for those who don't know ah there it is if you take the dragon egg off the portal by touching it it's going to teleport somewhere else but since the dragon egg is affected by gravity all you need to do is place a torch underneath it there and just break the block it sat on and it will there we go we got ourselves the next generation it will just drop down onto the torch and break the same way gravel does we can hop back through the portal and declare ourselves the winner of Minecraft. And of course, if you haven't seen the end poem, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Beat Minecraft yourself and then come back and read this because it is really quite special. There we are, folks, back in the overworld. It is nighttime, and I think that's probably where we're going to call it for today's episode. It's been a little bit of gearing up. I think we're going to save end cities and everything else for the next episode. But a nice brief dragon fight with some epic cinematics seems like a nice place to leave it to me. We got that dragon egg, and I'm going to put that in here with some of my other precious gear, and we can figure out a nice place to put that later. But yeah, I feel like we've done a pretty decent job of that dragon fight, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit more dragon fight cinematic just to round out the episode, but thank you so much for watching this episode of Skyblock116. My name has been Pixariffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's a lava bucket over here. Wait a minute. Of course, at the spawn point, right in the center of the world, we got ourselves a new bucket of lava. So we have another lava source. The dragon drops lava. Why didn't I think of that? Of course, there we go. Well, like I said, folks, thank you so much for watching. We got our rewards doubly so thanks to that lava bucket. Folks, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.